Lung cancer kills more people in the United States than any other type of cancer, and that's why screening is so important. Once a diagnosis is made, doctors can get much more information through bronchoscopy, using a small camera on the end of a tube to look into the lungs. And at Conway Medical Center, there are two types being performed, EBUS and navigational bronchoscopy. I talked with Dr. Hayek, a pulmonologist, about lung cancer and these high-tech procedures. Lung cancer is very common and it has a significant uh, impact uh, and a negative impact on our community. Uh, every year almost 250,000 uh, new cases of lung cancer are diagnosed in the US. Uh, that leads to almost 150,000 deaths in the United States every year from lung cancer. That's only talking about the United States. If we talk about worldwide, it's almost 1.6 to 2 million deaths every year from lung cancer. What are the risk factors for lung cancer? There is multiple risk factors, but the number one cause of lung cancer is smoking. Uh, you know, smoking or tobacco abuse is uh, alone is responsible for at least 90% of lung cancers. So that's why it's very important and the best way to prevent lung cancer or to improve, you know, survival and outcome from from uh, lung cancer is not to smoke or if you're a smoker to quit smoking. Why is screening so important for lung cancer? Usually lung cancer is diagnosed at uh, advanced stage, which makes treatment difficult and, the and treatment outcome very poor because uh, usually the outcome of lung cancer uh, is related to the stage of that, you know, at the time of the diagnosis and the tumor size. And uh, usually, you know, lung cancer is not diagnosed at very late stage when the tumor size is big and start causing symptoms. Uh, that's why now it's recommended uh, to screen uh, high-risk population. So who's considered high-risk? Anybody who, who is between 55 to 80 years old and who smokes or has history of tobacco abuse for at least 30 pack a year. Uh, we talk about 30 pack a year, it means like if you smoke one pack a day for 30 years or two pack a day for 15 years or three pack a day for 10 years. And if you're still smoking or you quit smoking within the last 15 years. So anybody who has these three criteria, it's recommended to have a low dose CT scan every year to screen for, you know, for lung cancer and catch hopefully early stage cancer. And if something abnormal is found during a screening, what's next? You know, a lot of time when we find abnormality on the scans or any x-rays, uh, we, we need to have a biopsy or tissue diagnosis. There is a multiple way to get a biopsy. One of the uh, minimally invasive way and safest way is bronchoscopy. Bronchoscopy is a, is a endoscopic procedure, so it's not, it's not a surgical procedure. There is no cuts or incision involved here. Uh, we use a bronchoscope, which is a flexible scope that has a light and camera on top of it, so we can evaluate the airways from inside the lungs. How is bronchoscopy done? It's done as outpatient basis mainly and patient will be sedated and uh, with this flexible uh, scope we go through the nose or mouth down to the airways to the wing pipe down to the airways and we can evaluate the, the, the airways or bronchial tree of the patient. That's what we call the flexible bronchoscope so it's a flexible tube that has a camera and light at the tip of it and also a working channel where we can pass our you know biopsy forceps or needle. Uh, as you can see, you know, when we go into the lungs, we can see a lot of details and I can show you what it here. This conventional bronchoscopy has limitations and sometimes we need to use uh, more advanced bronchoscopy techniques to, to help with the diagnosis. And what are some of those techniques? One of them is EVAS or uh, bronchoscopy with endobronchial ultrasound. What it is is, you know, at the tip of the bronch, there is an ultrasound probe which allows us to take a real-time ultrasound imaging while we're doing our bronchoscopy. This ultrasound images, we, we can see what's behind the airway, the abnormality or the structure that are behind the airways, and also help us to see the biopsy needle going through this lesion or abnormality. So with EBUS, we can improve our diagnostic yield and also our, the safety of the procedure. What are some of the advantages of EBUS? The advantage of EBUS uh, it's a minimally invasive procedure, it's very safe, and it can be done as outpatient basis. And a very important point is it can save the patient a more invasive uh, procedure and uh, surgical biopsy, which carries higher risk of complications.
applications. When is eBus used? eBus is becoming the, the first or the most common modality to diagnose lung cancer, especially when we're dealing with central lesions or mediastinal adenopathy. I mean by mediastinal adenopathy is enlarged lymph nodes in the middle of the chest. Another technique is navigational bronchoscopy, and believe it or not, part of it is similar to the GPS in your car. Navigation bronchoscopy can help us more with uh, peripheral lung lesions. And the incidence of peripheral lung lesions is increasing this time. And that's due because we're doing more scans right now. We're doing more screening scans. We're doing, in general, more CT scans of the chest for different reasons sometimes. And our new scanners are much better than what we used to have in the past. So we're picking up more nodules and smaller nodules that we were not seeing before. Uh, what uh, navigation bronchoscopy is, uh, it's mainly image-guided bronchoscopy. It has different phases before we can start doing it. The first phase or planning phase is when we obtain CT scan images using a specific uh, CAT scan protocol. Then we, we bring these uh, images and we upload them to a computer software and we create a virtual bronchoscopy and also a virtual pathway to the, to the target. Then comes the second phase, which is uh, the bronchoscopy phase or the biopsy phase. Before we bring the patient to endoscopy suite or before we start the procedure, we create a, an electromagnetic field around the patient by placing an electromagnetic uh, board underneath the patient. And this will allow us to real-time tracking of the instruments we're using inside the lungs. So the computer will guide us step by step to advance to the lesion. It's like almost like the GPS in your car. And again, this will improve the diagnostic yield and also the safety of the procedure. What can these high-tech procedures like eBus and navigational bronchoscopy mean for patients? Diagnose lung lesions, either central or peripheral, depends if it's central, eBus is used more, if it's peripheral lesion, navigational bronchoscopy is used more. It can help to increase the diagnostic yield, so save the patient another procedure or more invasive procedure like surgery.